Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about how to hook up email with OmniFocus and how to process your email so that your inbox stays empty. Most of the stuff I'm going to talk about today, I've ripped off 43folders.com or various other GTD related websites. So let's get started. First thing I like to do is create myself a smart mailbox. This smart mailbox is basically just looking for any unread email. The reason I do this is that it gives me a nice easy place to jump to so that I can process email that needs to be processed. When going through my inbox, I basically do one of four things with each email message. I can do nothing with it, I can delete it, I can reply to it if it's something I can quickly reply to, or I can create a task for that email message and deal with it at a later date. Let's start hooking up mail and OmniFocus. First thing you gotta do is go into the preferences in OmniFocus and check out the clippings tab. Inside there you'll see a shortcut for clippings. What I like to do is set it to control option period. The reason I like to do that is control option spacebar is how you get the OmniFocus quick entry dialog up and control option period is pretty close to that. Next thing you gotta do is turn on OmniFocus's mail Clipatron 3000. When you click on that, it'll set that up and restart your mail app for you. So we've restarted mail, we restarted OmniFocus, we're ready to get clippings going. We go into our smart inbox to begin processing email. First thing we see in there is we gotta pick up some milk on the way home. So control option period brings up the quick entry dialog. Type in a project name, type in a action name, and you can see that the email message was inside of that dialog box. That one's processed. Let's move on to the next one. Same deal. We're going to do control, option, period. We get the OmniFocus dialog pop up. We then fill in a project name. We can create a new project on the fly here if we need to. And we'll create a new context if we need to. And we'll save this and it's processed now. The advantage of this is we now have tasks created for these two email items. We hop on over to OmniFocus and we can see the tasks are there inside their projects. The cool thing is now is we can look at an item and you can see the entire email message inside of that task. You can also see a link to the original email message. What that link will do when you click on it is it'll pop you over to mail and give you the email message there. Then you can click reply, type some stuff in, send the email message. And you did all that without having to dig through folders or search in your inbox to try and find that message pertaining to that project. So we've emailed that guy. Let's check it off. Clean up our task. That thing is considered done now. You can see in the other email message here, there's the original message link as well. Say now, later on down the line, we want to pull that email back out. We want to call that guy again or whatever. We can look up the completed actions and you can see we can always have a record of the email, the original message now. You click on that and maybe that email message was moved into a folder. It doesn't matter. OmniFocus will find it for you. And that's pretty much how I crunch email. I like to point out though that OmniFocus isn't the only app that can do this. I've used IGTD in the past and it can do something very similar to this with a combination of mail tags. It's a pretty good solution as well. If you're not on a Mac, it shouldn't be a big deal. I'm quite confident that somebody has written something that integrates with Outlook. It gives you a similar sort of functionality. If not, sucks to be you and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this screencast. Bye for now.